comes the money. Here we go. Money talk. Here comes the money. Hey, what's up, everybody? Clint the Franchise here. My wife and I are going to head down to Castle Square Mall in Annapolis, Indiana today. It's Saturday, January 14th. Um, I want to see those Jordan 12 Lows in person, those new black with those orange hits on them, because the reviews I've seen on those things, they've got nothing but negative reviews on them, so I'm very intrigued by them, because I kind of want to see them. So, uh, down the mall, I'll get some mall vloggage, some shopping, maybe buy some sneakers, and let's see what happens. So come along with me. Let's go. All right, Ross, we're gonna check out the shoes really quick. See what they got, see if I can find some of those fragment ones. See here in just a second. I am on the hunt to try to find those elusive fragment Jordan 1s that people have found and Jordan 2 Don C the blue colorway people have found that Ross I don't anticipate finding anything just a bunch of lots of Nike trash on the shelf some wannabe Timberland boots on the shelf this particular Ross was really picked over the majority of their shelf I'd say was only maybe about 25 30 percent full I'm not sure if they had a big run on shoes this weekend or something, or what happened, but this Ross really needs to pick up and get some more inventory because all this is absolute trash. Trash Adidas, trash Nike, trash everything. Walking in Circle City, Seoul right now. This resale shop has decent shoes for okay prices. They keep getting better inventory all the time. This wall, I wouldn't exactly call this a wall of heat by any means whatsoever, but it gets a little bit better here. We got some fragments on deck here. Band ones. Royal. DB6 is in my size. Hundred bucks. What are these things? I've never seen these before. They came out in 2016. Never seen these. whole bunch of sales shoes but nothing really very good and nothing what you would call any hype beast kind of footwear but uh keep on trek and see what we can find here at finish line we got some of those nmd xr1 joints here i kind of do like the uh, white camouflage version pretty nice but then you got your wannabe yeezys of course but you know what if you like them rock them who cares Oh my god. What the hell are these? I guess that's a track shoe or something. These are horrible. They dropped these price huge. These things were two twenty five. Adidas rep today. Really? Yeah, man. He was just, you know, explaining to me about all these items that they have coming out. It's just stuff that we're not even ready for. So it's about to be a lot of things that's about to come out. Really? So, groundbreaking. 
on Adidas. 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 Awesome. Adidas. Awesome. Adidas. Lots of Yeezys. Lots of Yeezys. And and I didn't even know. Because, you know, they get the first wave of them, you know, before we even get to see the colorways that's going to drop, they yeah. know before we do. Yeah. So he's like the NBA graphic designer. So, yeah, I actually got this car. Dang. Morning, Any know? word on the white on white on white? For the Yeezys? It's actually dropping this summer. Nice. Yeah, so be ready for that one. So Sweet. the first one we should be getting is that, um, that eggnog colorway. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Off-white, and then after that, it should be the black, the red, then the all-white. All-white's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice. We will be. We'll be. Huge shout out to Devin, one of the store managers at the finish line at Castle Square Mall in Indianapolis, Indiana. He was cool as hell. Spent several minutes with me talking future Yeezys and NMDs that's coming out here in the next probably six months. A lot of information. Excellent guy to talk to if you're ever in this mall. Hit him up and uh, shout out to you, Devin. This leather quality is like plastic or nylon or something. Well, this side feels like plastic. These things are horrible. Like the worst Jordan ever made. Crap. Same old stuff. A new Kyrie's. The new Kyrie's aren't too bad. I wouldn't wear them now. So you're just supposed to pick a spot and like squish that through? It's, it's adjustable to fit you like your arch. It works really hard though. This that's, is terrible. That's probably why nobody buys them. That was a ridiculous design. This is pretty nice. This uh, Champs has got the white on white. Ultra Boost 3.0 is in stock and the uncaged and they got a pretty decent supply of uh, shoes here right here for Adidas. Last stop at the mall we're going to go into Bricks, a new resale shop here. Prices here are outrageously too expensive but you know you never know what you might find. Always got to try at least. One bad thing about this place is it's always so damn dark in there. It's very hard to film in this store but uh they're branching out now into more clothing, it looks like, so that's always a good thing. That's cute. It's a neat looking shoe with the ring on the. Mm hmm. Got the white and gray tri color NMDs on foot today. Looking fresh as hell. Damn it. But key master's broken. Damn it. I wanted to touch really quick on a couple of Q&As. Um, I was asked probably uh, two or three times now, what is my favorite shoe of all time and what is my favorite shoe in my current collection? Easy. Favorite shoe of all time? The one and only Jordan 11 Concords. Current favorite shoe in my collection. Yeezy 350 Turtle Doves. And let me do one more question, which I've been asked many times. Why do you keep reviewing fake shoes? Easy. These companies in China who make and distribute these counterfeit, fake, UA, whatever you want to call them, shoes. They reach out to me through YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and email saying, hey, can we send you a shoe and would you review it for us if you like it and we can build some partnership or something. I'm always like, yeah, you can send me a free shoe, but if it's crap, I'm not going to give you any kind of shout outs or anything. And uh, they're always, they always end up being crap. And question, why do you keep doing it? Well, because a lot of people like to see the differences between real and fake. 
Um, I do it myself. Like whenever a new shoe comes out, a new popular shoe, and if I'm concerned about buying on the secondary market, I'll do some research between real and fake. So at least I will know what to look for. So if I have the opportunity to put out the videos of real versus fake, I'm going to do it because it only helps out the community, you, me, everybody else. So I'll keep doing reviews on fakes as long as it's beneficial to the sneaker community. Easy question, easy answer. Run.